York is a barbarian here. Once more taking you back in time. To the 27th of September 961 AD. We've come of age here at 18. Yarl Ulfer. And we have two Yarldoms. A bunch of... A uh, bunch of little uh, cheap guns. Advancing from here is proving extremely difficult. Well, that's a... Uh, that's a Sweden, Sweden, isn't it? Sweden might be able to become an empire. That might leave us room to become. Uh... That might leave us room to become a kingdom under them. I don't know. Now. You're 1239. We have a lot more troops, but you have all these allies, which we don't have. But we do. Who are your allies? Imbadra. And Yarl. What about Poplon? I'm trying to see what else I might be able to expand. Not like to me. I'm your heir. I have seventy three percent chance of murdering you. Goodbye, brother. I should hire a position. should send for a position first. Gone fishing. My wife you know, stops me in the corridor. Training from ear to ear in her hands are two fishing poles. Gone fishing with me. Yes, let's do that. I gained 200 prestige. Prestige? Yes. Secret tunnel. My agent, Chief Desinga, approached me with a bunch of parchments clutched in her hands. Found old architectural sketches of the Isle's castle. They might be a bit outdated. Looks like we can use it. <laughs> Written in the stars, the Yarl to scare the local mystic with dubious models and a fabricated omen. Perfect. Before the mystic leaves for Yarl's uh, Sigurdbrand's court, there is but one question. Will my false omen be one of fortune or doom? A bad omen. Oh, it lost progress. I, I should have checked that double, doubly. And the killed in siege, never mind. Uh, am I swaying anyone? Yes. Play glob. Bye, master. These one war. In. I need a court. I uh, not a court position. I am sorry. Yes, a court position. Uh, um. Search for position. Petition liege. Make some good arguments. Yeah. Lose 95. Gains a weak hook. Fine. Court physician. The world is full of dangers, even to a Jarl and his court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now oh, they have assembled a few options. Uh, you... Moderate. Not exactly enthusing me. 
You're looking at me like enthusiastic. Anything, are you? Seems to be about the best we have. We'll take it. Coming out to play, I'm sure did his relationship with her spouse, you call him oh, he's a very happy and productive one. Lately, she has less and less time to spend with me. Dear friend. Well, I'm not going to get in the way between her. Oliver, that, that's me, huh? What? Oh. Who is Luke Mosey, anyway? He's on Lander. Little. Most likely. Big challenge, a wedge is driven between them. I know she divorced him. Fine. She created against me, huh? All is fair. Many treaties have been written in on un honourable conduct in the war. Those authors' lives were written on the weren't on the line when they put pen to paper. Should I want to maximise my chance of winning in battle, it may be worth worthwhile for me to consider employing some more unorthodox methods. I'll trick my enemies into. And what are you doing in a faction against me? Oh no, that's me. It's just uh, peasant rabble. I gathered my retinue together for some war games. He could try out my idea of faking a route to lure my opponents into ex overextending. <laughs> Once we split up into teams, I took care to show everyone how to yield just enough ground to trick the other side into moving out of position without giving so much that our lines would break. A new tactic worked flawlessly and I await the day I can use it for the hour. That wasn't just a Has expired. If there's one thing Yarl Sugarborn has in uh, particular, cannot resist a retreat. Bon appetit, my friend. Yarl Sugarborn is dead. He swallowed the bait, strawberry compote and all. In no time at all, he was clutching at his throat, wheezing for air. Weeting prayer before collapsing into a small heap on the ground, never to get up again. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of our play could be found. Fine. Above domain limits. Should have got there. Yes, better than that. We also have a new uh, trinket. Take that. Any weapons? No. Any regalia? No. Now, who's my, uh... My son. That's my title. Right, Mock. You can have that. He's now my vassal. Have a war? You are attacking us. Am I the war leader? She won't accept. Intriguing.
We only have 854. Uh, you. What is it? Seriously. We'll raise the armies. Chop look at the council meeting. Dog has no place in a council meeting. I exit the meeting. You can all see the look and he's gone. Every way for her high and low. What if she is lost and scared? Suddenly I stumble upon my spy master glove. Gastizing a dog. Oh, it looks like chop liquor. Bad. It's not good. Lord, my spy master frets all throughout the day, evidently attempting to find the right words. At last, we make our way to the die uh, to dying. He begins sheepishly. My host, I hear him was the Tyke, the Count of has come to see you in the focus of his enmity. My old venomous scullion. Progress. Ten months. A fortunate inheritance. Gold happened to be friends with an older, wealthy gentleman who had no heirs. One recently passed away and left behind some of his inheritance as gold. How fortunate. Eight months. My modest vassal, it would, if you could personally, yes, let's accept him until the court. Wait, your, your, your boy. And there we are. Whoops. Chop liquor, run away. No chop liquor. Disband all. And we have Iceland done. You need to be uh, getting these back in our favour. You have eight years left to convert. There's some Catholic areas here. Now, what do we have here? Ransom. We'll take an alliance with our son. And we have low counter control in Philomoth, that's fine. Invite champions. I 
I find Chopper can after a few minutes of searching, happily wagging her tail, pretending nothing happened. She's clutching something in her mouth and gently placed it before me. Of gold coins, well done, Salomo. Uh, well done, uh, Chopper. And we have an alliance. Big Slagger. Oh, too powerful. Northern Isles. A champion has arrived. We'll take you. There is never a quiet moment. My son and I, Chief Nodre, is full of questions. I do my best to encourage his curiosity, but sometimes I cannot help but get exhausted. Father and mother love each other. Pretty much. Hmm. You have nothing. Do not have a castle's belly, though. The hardest part of ruling. But in nature, teammates can be extremely boring. None of my family like this. Do so many of the useful things. Isn't rabble, that's fine. Richmond died, I can live with that. He can't. Oh, obviously, he can't. Good. He is a vassal. What's his chief to singer? Interesting. It would be better, but not majorly. Rather not a percent. Still few champion. Oh. She is a powerful vassal. Not very powerful, but she is powerful. Fortunately, a neighboring. Oh, rule war. One war. That's fine. Okay, so far. Not in line to inherit anything. Who is left in Telemark? That's fine. Inquitory. How are you doing on your conversion? Eight years left. Long time. I sip at my mug of imported wine, I scanning over my latest scrawled work. Still mornings in spring. When such beautiful countenance is hid from sight, those left behind must feel a blight, and one so great fall so far. All lives, all plans, I left. Truly, really, one of the great artists of mine to me. I 
could be a journaler. I could be a poet. Yeah. And we will shall we shall become a poet. A skald indeed. Would they had a better priest. I mean, off go the champion has arrived. Yes, recruit court. Nice to be a bit fight. It's not going to work. Ah, hang on. Great voice at the ting meet. Ting meets are a necessary chore for any decent yarl. The old three men in the area are turning up to discuss local affairs, market, uh, and jostle for the privilege of that. Uh, this privilege of that. As to be expected with such large gatherings, they have a way of turning heated, and this ting is no exception. I struggle to follow the details. The wilder yelling. It seems as though men from Vestland demand retribution for a wedding thrown into chaos. By Sutherland uh, guests from Sutherland. Sutherland guests from Sutherland, sorry. Sutherland guests from Sutherland. This is nonsense eventually, I'm sure. This is me. It's only a 41%, so that's not good. Marshall. You can be my Marshall. She doesn't need a new place on the council. She has one. Would that I could make him my health Gordy. I cannot. What position is better? Might help a little. He's not good, but he is better. Wouldn't be a failure there. Anyway. Also. We have enough to do that. And you don't like me at all, do you? We need to sway you. We also need to gift you things and gift. Gift an artifact. Well, that's not good. Definitely not good. That could lose further opinion.
No glory is widely known. Good. The good chiefess. While hosting lords and ladies from realms near and far, some opportunities to portray my marshal in a good light have appeared. Who is the most noble lady? Well, of course she is. I do not know that. A rusty tool peering through the dusty murk of the armory. My gaze travels over multiple different weapons of war. A pair of battered leather gloves, a recently sharpened sword, a spear with a worn haft. Farming tool. I pick up the farming implement. Perhaps it has been lumped in unknowingly with the weapons. I have the tool, examining it curiously curved, tick like blade. I give it an experimental swing. Here by Hobbock. The blade pierces a male, scattering a few iron rings across the floor. Interesting. Well, let's see what we can do with it. Taking the small blade out in the midday sun, I inspect more closely. The blade tapers to a point at one end and disappears into the tang at the other. Leaving a, a length of rust, slightly rusty but still sharp iron in between. The kink at the blade's head gives the implement a wicked curve to it. Useful for cutting through shrubs, you'd think. Maybe finding in gaps in armour. Really? Eyes aren't that good for his weapons, really. Really, this could be the purpose of the weapon of war, but the question remains what exactly should you do with it? Let's hone the blade. I have several herbalists and physicians tell me that tea made from the petals of fruit and of the rose and a number of beneficial medicine, medicinal uh, properties. I can't speak. When mixed together with other herbs, these medicinal properties are further enhanced. It's a good thing I'm drinking some today, then. Perfect. The way it is, the implement, uh, which the holding blacksmith, blacksmith Ben explained to me, is known as a billhook, as I enthusiastically supervised him sharpening it. Really looks a part of a weapon of war. The blade emerges from the tang with a vicious edge to it, running up and through the weighty hooked head. The newly sharpened point glints in the midday sun. As I work it, the seam of some defunct boiled leather hammer, or ripping it back towards me, severing the holding loops in a single swing. I like these. Let's do that. We didn't have a weapon already. Guardian tactics. Lower prestige is not good, but we can live with it. Still a few champions. We need more. Six years up for you. While walking through the hallway at night, I got too close to a torch and burned myself. The burns are minor and easily treatable with some herbs and ointments, but it does hurt. Let's get that close to a torch again. Increase my men at arms. Studying the tactics of ancient generals, I was amused to learn about Julius Caesar's exploits during his conquest of Gaul. During his siege of Alicia, Caesar determined that direct assault from a well-fortified city was too costly. He instead ordered his army to build his own fortresses, which surrounded the entire city. 
trapping the enemy garrison inside to starve them, while simultaneously preventing reinforcements from relieving the defenders. Jeez, I took a risk with that plan, but it paid off. Yardum of Munster. Just do that. Ingrid, uh, Ingedro was telling me something while talking a pose, taking pose look. In other words, she was trying to say things while having a physically perfect pose in order to emphasize her statements. Far back as the days of ancient Greeks and Romans, skilled orators have often trained themselves to accompany their speech with specific deliberate hand gestures. Although evidence is scanty, the further back we go, Formal term for gesticulation as a rhetorical technique is called chironomia. Fair enough. Alliance form. Now, my liege is what? 14,000. Not. I am going to declare war on, obviously. Gentleman. Grand Prince Dagomir has formed a Croatian hybrid culture. Okay. Oh, bad, that's fine. Chop like a charmed vassal. I stumble upon my son and heir, Chief Northerner, crouching beside my dog, Chop like a vigorously scratching her stomach. Oh, I'm glad you like her. Fall to war. Forty-four twenty. I guess we'll accept. Don't nope, see it as something we're going to be involved in particularly. Although, we could afford to be. It behooves the Jarl to spend some time at sea with a salty air in his face and a fine vessel beneath his feet. Today sees my personal craft and small escorting squadron out for drills, practice and pleasure. The short voyage has been an exhilarating change of pace. My people, when we spot it, a distant plume of water followed by a small island of wine dark flesh rolling out of the waves. The greatest beast of all the deeps a whale. Get the harpoons. But well, but never mind. Militarily. Now, if we look at this. A Brittany, Brittany, Brittany. Yeah. 
A new steward is needed. You are my vassal. Uh, cultural acceptance. What culture are you? To a Norse. All of that is Norse. That is Norse. Everything I have is Norse. Ah. <clears throat> Actually. in 10 years. In the level of devotion, good. My spy masters come to me with grave news. Well, we do not yet know who. Someone's killing to, plotting to kill the uh, free carrier. Eight months left. You're finished. Seventeen months there. Look like at day of solo. Choplicker has walked by my side for many years. And the passage of time does not spare dogs. As I kneel beside her, she starts wagging her tail slowly, but she cannot raise her head. I sit with her long into the night, petting her black back until the tail stirs it. I'll miss you, chop the cat. New temples established, good. What's this? Oh, no. My lead just wore, I care little. My leash cannot fight his own wall. He shouldn't be going to war. He shouldn't be sent to situations up like that. Good. 
You have gained a manipulation hook on Halfrida. It's... Ooh, right now. Nice. Oh, hang on. That should be fine. Unlock a martial perk. Organized march. So be it. Just stand off. I'll grant your attacks, Lena. We can bring you back under control. They are doing fairly well. Uh, almost got that done. Nice, nice one, Chief Des. Fine healing was destroyed. Mail was destroyed. That's finished. Good. Sixteen years in Sutherland. Let's get this shorter ones done first. In months, sir. Tale of the Labyrinth! Someone tells me of a king in a faraway land who was cruel yet fair to his fair in his dealings. He once hired an engineer to create the largest labyrinth the world has ever known. Those guilty of the worst crimes were put in the maze of tunnels and hallways, which were filled with all manner of violent beasts, as well as dangerous booby traps that could kill a man instantly. Almost none escaped, but there were always a few who had the wits and tenacity. Or perhaps the luck and blessing of Odin to find their way out. The king granted freedom to those few of their, uh, for their impressive achievements. Come on, capable of enough to deserve. Yes, I would have escaped. Now, who am I swaying right now? If this finger is my marshal, ah, and who is satisfied with me? Ultra discovered crop rotation, fine. We're going to <clears throat> we're going to work on swaying you now. Man died. Council died. Call to war. <clears throat> Who are you fighting? Ooh. This could be dangerous. Or uh, fighting on many front tracks. So, it's just this area here. Let us raise our troops. Wait, do you hear that? I was taking a walk in the wilderness near my house with a few of my guards. We grew alarmed when we heard the noise of leaves crunching nearby. To be some sort of assassin about it. Thankfully, our fears were for naught. Then, out the source was the noise of a couple of uh, mice being bats on top of these. Well, uh, we need to fill a council position by Chancellor. There's 
Kiña. No sé. In the trade pregnant. There you go. Months there. I think we are doing fine. Ah, many wars I could declare. Not which seem particularly good right now. Finished? Good. Wait, what? Oh, you're not the one doing it. <laughs> it says. Ah. I'm up in sixteen months. Purity of supply, part of commanding an army, means making sure my soldiers have plenty of food, etc. Stockpiled supplies. Is it presents me with a perfect little son? Nutter. I mean, he's a complete nutter. Leash on my war, that's fine. Ah, oh, that's, that's a shame. We can do without you. Seven months. months he's just not doing well for us right now Lord Swede did uh, you need to be swayed I mean, we're at minus 100. They completely blew it. No. Well, we do not yet know. If someone's plotting against me? Oh.
Ah, uh, we were forced to release them, I guess. Well, my friends, that is where we will end for today. We've grown a little. A lot. We have three. How is our lead? How old is our lead? Daughter. Son. Son. Don't they be split? If so, I may be able to make use of that. I'm not sure. But Sweden is also getting towards where they could declare themselves the Norse Empire, I believe. Or at least declare an empire. Well, my friends, you've been a fine court. Join me next time as we continue to watch as the Norse wind doth blow.